Hello, spooky cats. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to take you on a ghostly tour of the George Washington Hotel, a historic gym located in downtown Winchester, Virginia. This hotel has a rich history and a lot of spirits to explore. Buckle up because we're driving into the eerie tales and haunted history of the George Washington Hotel. The George Washington Hotel was built in 1924 by the American Hotel Corporation. Initially, it had 102 rooms and 45 baths, but in 1929, an additional wing was added, making it a C-shaped structure with 50 more guest rooms. The hotel closed in 1978 and operated as a retirement home, the George Washington Home for Adults until 1993. After that, it remained vacant for 11 years until it was purchased and restored in 2004. It finally reopened in April 2008 and was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 2010. Today, it boasts 90 guest rooms, an indoor pool and a hot tub, a fitness room, and a restaurant and bar. Hey guys, Spooky Cat Lady, and we're doing another ghost hunt. But first, let's check out the room. This time we're staying at the George Washington Hotel in Winchester, Virginia, which is set to be haunted. And I'll go over a little bit of the haunting stuff later. But right now, we'll check out the room, see if it's cool. We're in room 208, second floor. So, if you find yourself staying near room 208 at the corner of Cameron and Piccadilly Street on a stormy night, keep an eye out for old Reverend Eckelberger. He may be searching for his old bedroom, trapped for eternity in the halls of the George Washington Hotel. One of the most famous hauntings is that of Reverend Louis Eckenberger a Lutheran pastor who died in his home in 1859, which once stood where the hotel is now. His death occurred during a storm similar to the night in 1963 when a couple encountered his ghost. The guests saw a dark figure with sunken eyes in the hallway. The next morning, the clerk confirmed there were no other guests and identified the figure as Reverend Eckelberger, who is often seen near room 208. His spirit still wanders the halls, adding to the hotel's haunted reputation. Something we didn't notice was the drawer had opened by itself, and you'll see from this angle. I also put a cat ball on the bed and also a motion detecting ghost while we're, we were out eating while we did this time lapse. Unfortunately, as you can see, nothing happened and that drawer did not open anymore. So once we noticed this, we of course had to check out what was going on. So I had a time lapse camera going while we were gone getting dinner and nothing happened. <laughs> Now, mysteriously, this drawer was open like this when we came back and I closed it again. Maybe I didn't close it far enough. I don't know, but it reopened. Look, I might do it again. See, slowly, it's opening. Is it a ghost or just shoddy craftsmanship? We'll never know. <laughs> it's opening. The cat bulb just went off, but I was too slow and didn't catch it while it was on. We were both sitting on the bed. The drawers like to keep opening. 
but I don't think that's paranormal. I think that's more, I think the floor must be leaning toward the bed or something. Hmm. Go off again, cat ball. I tested the drawer by doing a time lapse to see if I could easily recreate it. I did it twice, and as you can see, each time the drawer slid out. So apparently the floor is slanted or something of that nature, not paranormal. It is 6.15 at night. We are at the George Washington Hotel in Winchester, Virginia, and we are starting our spooky study. Pookie's right there. He'll be helping out, sort of. Our cat ball's gone off twice, so that's fun. It could be because people were in the hall opening their door, because we could hear them talking, or it could be ghosts. We don't know. Most likely, slamming doors. <laughs> One thing is for sure in this hotel, you hear a lot of noise when people decide to start moving around and stuff. Hopefully we'll be able to sleep tonight. Hopefully they're not like a party crowd. Although the bar was packed <laughs> when we came back from the restaurant, so... Mm, I don't know if he'll want to visit it later. You gonna want to visit the bar later? Mm. Maybe. So I can sneak, investigate around the bar a little bit. Before they close, I think what they close at 11. 10 or 11. We'll have to go down before 10 then to make sure we don't miss it. But we'll see. We'll see. We went down around the pool. There's people swimming now, so I don't want to go there. And maybe we'll, you know, pay a visit before it closes officially at 10 o'clock, too. We'll see what we have time for. I haven't used this device very much, so I thought I would dig it out. It is a heat gun. And I forget how to turn it on. Maybe you just do that. So our bed is 70.5 degrees. My husband is 96 degrees, so that seems accurate. It's <laughs> Why is it only 75 there? Probably because your jeans. I haven't felt any weird cold spots in the room personally, so I'm sure at this time this is probably not needed yet. It seems like the average temperature in this room is around 60. Nope, Nothing abnormal. The toilet's 65, but it's porcelain, so that tends to be colder. So if I do feel a particular cold chill or cold spot, which I have not, I never felt anything at any, any of the other ghost hunts like that either. But for some reason, if I should, I will grab this. All right, we're gonna use the one that annoys everyone, the spirit box. See if anything wants to talk to us. I have a theory though. So every time people talk about seeing about ghosts, they're usually just doing regular stuff. They're not, you know, they're washing the dishes, they're watching TV. They're not trying to talk to ghosts. So I feel like they shouldn't try. They just show up and annoy you. But we're going to try. Hello ghosts. Are you here? As I understand it, it is not the radio stations you are listening for, it's a voice, not a radio station. Pookie's using the thermal camera. Mm -hmm. 
anyone around? Anyone want to chat from the other side? So far, not much luck. Mm -hmm. You can see it in the shower too. I hear here at the Washington, the George Washington, that people see shadows. They hear weird noises. <coughs> Stuff like that. I couldn't find any specific ghost stories, like any particular, like people hanging themselves or dying here, or mostly Confederate, that people believe Confederate soldiers roam around, which that's true for everywhere around here. Things like every civil war battle pretty much happened around here. No Ghosts, how you feel about the Civil War? Are you Confederate soldiers? Room 301 is infamous for disembodied voices. One guest even chose to sleep in the lobby after hearing these voices, refusing to stay in the room for another mm -hmm. night. There's also the story of footsteps heard on the roof and mysterious child-sized footprints appearing overnight in freshly painted floors, with no other footprints leading to or away from the area. Maybe they'll talk through the static. I'm not sure why they think you have to make it sweep through the channels. Why can't you just have it on static? <laughs> Who decided that? <laughs> Not hearing much with just static though either. Yes, we do at this time have all the lights on. I'll try sweeping backward. You want to tell us your name? I'm going to stick it in the microwave and see what happens. <laughs> so the, the instructions when you buy one of these, so you're supposed to put it in a Faraday cage so that uh, radio stations don't affect it. So the closest thing I have to a Faraday cage is a microwave.
But I still hear the radio stations coming through. So that don't work. Hello? Are any of you here? Any ghosts? get more radio stations when it's in there. Anyone wants to talk to us this way? So I'm gonna switch to something else. Let's see what the eight ball has to say. Eight ball, are there any ghosts here? Doesn't seem like it. Reply hazy. Try again. Eight ball. Are there any ghosts here? Outlook not so good. <sighs> That's the kind of crap it said last time. <laughs> Eight ball, are you sure? Ghosts? You can manipulate this. Let us know you're here. Are you here, ghosts? Outlook good. All right. Maybe it's because I got testy. All right. Do you want to talk to us? Yes, definitely. Great. Are you a boy? Concentrate and ask again. Do you want us know want us to know if you're a boy? signs point to yes that you want us to know you're a boy all right or should I say are you a man is, is that the problem are you a man better not tell you now <laughs> why hmm are you a girl? Most likely. Can you give a definite answer? My reply is no. Well, that was a definite answer. <laughs> but doesn't help us any. Uh, will you show yourself tonight? You may rely on it. Awesome. Just make sure I'm filming when you decide to do it, okay? Can you do that? Yes, definitely. Nice. So I, I'm looking forward to, to seeing you in person. 
haven't used the K2 yet, so let's see what happens with that. Turn it on. And for me, unless I put it next to something electrical, it's always green. Never does anything fun. Oh. Oh. Why do I got... In my cell phone. Is it in your pocket? Mm -hmm. Where? Here? Mm here. -hmm. Well, why is it going off here? Hmm. My Bluetooth leader. <laughs> Maybe. So we got these. Oh, look. My Polaroid's haunted. My thermal is haunted. My eight ball is haunted. Not this. That's the heat gun. Yeah. Hey, look. That's haunted today. Clock should make it go up. Yep. Look at it go cray cray. Woo! That's what it's supposed to read, not ghosts. This whole table is just got stuff happening. My camera's off, so I shouldn't do anything. I found it interesting when the K2 blinked at the same time that the knock happened. You might think that I hit it against the camera, but I actually did mm -hmm. not. The camera is very rubbery, so it would not make a sound like that. Curtain's making it go off. A little bit. Maybe. Is it a haunted curtain? Oh. Or is there just a something behind the hair? No, there's no air conditioning. Well, that's weird. No, that. Hmm. Maybe there's a tiny baby ghost right here. Whatever it is, it's only this tall. About two foot tall. <laughs> Temperature feels the same. Why is it going off there? going on in this room along this this whole way look something in the wall wiring nothing over here
trash can. It's got something going on. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason. But let's see if I go back. Yep, it goes back to yellow. Weird. Well, if we don't want to have electromagnetic fields going through us, we want to stay away from over here. <laughs> Wonder why. There's got to be some wiring or something in the wall. Woo! <laughs> All the way up. Shouldn't this lamp make it go off? Refrigerator? Ooh. Look at that. Microwave. That microwave is haunted. <laughs> <laughs> Still goes up here. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe it's the Wi Fi signal coming through the floor. Don't know. For some reason we keep getting a reading on the bed. Which usually don't happen. So that's interesting. I see two lights lit up, but I'm only seeing one on the video. Oh, now there's only one. Now there's two. Now there's one. Now there's two, sort of. <laughs> and of course, Pookie. Mm -hmm. Oh, are you normal now? He was lighting up. Now his watch could probably make it go off. But he seems normal now. I guess it stopped possessing you. It's possessing the bed now. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, it's possessing the bed now. Hmm. Weird. I'm trying out the possessed bed, see if it's comfortable. As long as it's comfortable, I don't care that it's possessed. Hopefully they'll, you know, chat with me or something. Possessed bed. <laughs> you do unfortunately, unfortunately, hear all the road noise, so that kind of sucks. Good luck to me sleeping tonight. <laughs> We made some ghostly Polaroids, hoping to catch a real ghost hiding in the background somewhere. Unfortunately, we did not, but at least we have some cool ghost photos to show people. We're going to go out in the hallway and take a couple of readings and then go to the bar. Hopefully it's not too busy and I get a couple of readings there. It's just green out here. We're gonna try and get some ghosts out here after people go to bed. We're gonna see if we can get some pictures of ghosts. I don't. Are we allowed to use them? In most hotels, you're allowed to use them. But this keep closed. Yeah. No interesting readings out here. I guess it's just our bed that's possessed. Should be interesting sleeping tonight. Here's the creepy weird symbol elevator.
the elevator sure makes some weird noises. <laughs> this giant haunted mirror it's got to be haunted right this hallway is still not haunted i want to know if it ends though it feels like it would make a square but i guess maybe it doesn't This way goes. So, what's in between? What's this light? Is it the vending machines? What is this? It's another elevator. And this hallway is. bed seemed haunted. So I'm going to see if it still is. So it's still lighting up uh, the bed. you get a pacemaker mm. and not tell me? I decided to get one. Why not? Why is this bed still? What's going on with this bed? Sleep on it. <laughs> hmm. Still high over here. You think it's just the internet signal on the ground? Maybe car lines are on the outside. Below us? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> well, yep. it's still there. It's consistent. Nothing anywhere else. But why is it all over our bed? Are we in danger? Will it kill us? Are we gonna get brain tumors? We've got ghost tube running now. If you watch Amy's Crypt, she made that app. Um, not really into the apps that much. Don't really believe in their in them, but I'm not gonna discount it yet. So, got the app running. See if any ghosts talk to us. Hello, ghosts. Are you there? Now, as you can see, when I talk, it's registering me. And that probably helps it make it talk.
like it's probably programmed to give some, some, some kind of a response. It said who. That would be Amy. That would have programmed that. That's who. I'm Roxanne. This is Pookie. You. Who are you? Got a name? Gonna talk to us at all? Or are you just gonna ignore us after all that, what I said? <laughs> Maybe. I'll switch to Vox if this one is too quiet. Maybe Spirit Talker. Those are the other ones that I've liked that I've used. There's the Necro something or other, but I have never tried that one yet. <laughs> this one has 500 words loaded into it, and you can actually add your own words to it if you want to. Lower. Lower what? What do you want me to lower? My voice? The light? I can't lower the light too much. You won't be able to see anything. There's two of you. Two? You're in here. And you're in here. Three if you count the reality of you. Oh. I can't be. I'm a turtle. I'm a turtle? I'm eternal. I'd rather than be a turtle. You'd rather be a turtle? Mm -hmm. Well, you're eternal. Sorry. You're like a vampire. I have two shots left on my Polaroid. So I'll try to get some ghost shots in the hallway. We're just waiting for people to go to bed. We don't want to bug people. Well, this version of Ghost Tube is quiet tonight. Guess that means no ghosts so far. Super turtle. Eternal. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. All right, we'll switch to the other, the Vox version. Hello, ghosts. Anyone gonna talk today? This one is harder to understand. Hey, you're not. Hey, you're not. Any ghosts in this room? It's coming. So 
somebody's coming. What we call. Hmm. Hopefully, during my silly playing around today, we actually caught a real ghost. That would be awesome. Are you, are you a real ghost? Those babies. I'm starting to come to the conclusion God. Washington, George Washington Hotel is not, not haunted. Enough. Let's see. We'll try Spirit Talker for a little bit. This one likes to go bonkers sometimes. Hello, any ghosts? It has a little reedy thing on it, but it's not reading anything. Hello. It's little green things just staying green. The power button. Yeah. And then it's not even talking. It's so funny because when we use all these apps at home, we get a ton of activity. And that's because our house is probably on an ancient Indian burial ground. <laughs> what? It is. <laughs> our house is. A lot of stuff in Martinsburg is. I know it, but not this hotel. Like this thing's dead silent. Why? Maybe because there's no ghosts. <laughs> like. Like. Like and subscribe. Yes, please. Like and subscribe. <laughs> hmm. You got anything else to say? Do you like us? Do you like being a ghost in this hotel? Do you like being dead? Do you even know you're dead? I hear other people in the rooms, but nothing ghostly. Amazed. Amazed about what? The lack of ghost. <laughs> yeah, the lack of ghost. <laughs>
it's crazy that all three are like totally dead. And this bed is haunted. It's gonna be crazy sleeping on it. Can you see us? No, we're trying to. Can you see us? Twenty. Hmm. Here's the room. Why is it blurry? There we go. I think it's not blurry anymore. Nancy. The room's a bit of a mess now that we've been in it. I gotta go slow because the lighting is very low, so shutters dragging. Later, that's night vision right there. That'll be on all night. Anytime there's movement, it'll go off. We used that at the last one, at the inn at the cemetery. And other than us, we unfortunately didn't get any movement. We did a time lapse in here when we first checked in after we left. The only thing that likes to move is that drawer over there. Name. My name is Roxanne. What about you? Photograph. That's your name? Cool. Hmm. Let's see. We'll switch to the SLS here. Interference. Yeah, you're about to get some interference right now. Bing. Goodbye. Maybe. That noise. So it thinks the tripod is the person. <laughs> Which makes sense. Kind of looks like a person. A three legged person. Thinks Zach is a person. I'm not a person. He He's not. It's, it's mistaken. He's not a person. I go bloop. I don't remember it doing that before. So other than a thinking tripods are people, nothing strange. Something's laying on you. No. <laughs> what is that? It's just we're hearing strange noises. It's human created but still confused as to what it is
could be coming from one of the banquet rooms, I guess. Sounds like somebody with a megaphone or a microphone or something. Yep. Yeah, no stick figures getting picked up other than this tripod. And that picture. The picture is haunted. <laughs> Maybe. I got one device left here. EVP recordings. So, if I can remember how to do it. <laughs> All right, it's recording. I don't think you can see this. Hello, ghost. Are you there? Are all of you at the party downstairs instead of in the rooms? Because there's certainly some kind of party going on. Do you have a name? Anything at all to say? Got some weird squiggly noises, but... Are all of you at the party downstairs instead of in the rooms? Is there certainly some kind of party going on? <laughs> that was Zach, not a ghost. It always sounds like there's Tweety Birds in the background of this recorder for some reason. Anything at all to say? Alright. It's recording. I don't think you can see hmm. this. We'll try one more, but I'm starting to think this place is not haunted. Hey, this is your second chance to make an appearance. I see the wave thing moving. Are you saying something? Hmm. 
My husband's having a good time hanging out with you. <laughs> How about you? Now we're listening. Hey, this is your second chance to make an appearance. I still hear the twittering in the background. I see the wave thing moving. Are you saying something? husband's having a good time hanging out with you. <laughs> How about you? Hmm. I wonder why this noise is going on. <laughs> All right, it's recording. I don't think you can see this. Hello, guys. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I still haven't, I know that it can be sound activated. I still haven't figured out how to do it. It's hard to know if I figured it out or not in my house because at home it's always so loud. It's always noise going on. It's never quiet. <laughs> so... At some point, especially at the conjuring house, when we go there, I want to have these just laying around and just sound activated. So hopefully I figure it out eventually. My hair is blowing, but that's because he has a fan over there. It's not a ghost. Wish it was a ghost. It was not a ghost. I think, I think there's people in the hallway. I've got two more shot Polaroid shots, and I want to use those to get ghosts in the hallway. Do you see it? 
Now it's probably because there's two air vents over here and the air is on right now. So probably not a ghost. But I can see how someone else might think it was a ghost and then think this place is haunted. Just moving a tiny bit. It's interesting. The air went off and when it did, this stopped moving. So it's a pretty good sign, not ghosts, that it is probably the air con making it move. The air is back on and the lamp is He's moving. Dangerous. She's dangerous. So I think it's pretty good evidence. It's the air vents. Pookie's ghost hunting. And somebody's dangerous. Potential. Don't they have potential? Dangerous. Potentially dangerous. Eleanor. Eleanor. The ghosts just don't want to talk to us. Walk right. Walk right? That would be into the wall. <laughs> Why do you want me to walk into the wall? the thermal so that light bulb's over there it's hot my husband's feet are hot that refrigerator is hot but I guess what we're looking for is abnormally cold <laughs> abnormally cold areas walls cold super hot. There's a big blob of heat right here. Super cool. Doesn't last long. There's some hot things around the TV. Why is this whole thing? my hand then because it does it relative to other things. The clock is hot. This has got a one hot spot for some reason. Footprints.
I'm raising the wall super cold. I'm gonna touch it. It is cold. My GoPro is a little bit warm looking. The two lights are a little bit warm. They haven't gone off. They're turned on, but they haven't gone off. Seems like this light should be giving off heat. Refrigerators always give off a ton. Pookie always gives off a ton. He's a heat monster. There's a little blotch of warmer right there for some reason. Interesting, because there's nothing there. Touch it. Hmm. My reflection in the glass looks warmer than everything else. Footprints. Of course, cold. He's a hot honey. So far, I don't see anything abnormal. Wish I'd see a dark handprint or something. But at this time, nothing. We'll try again later. Well, Seer finally gave us this creepy dude. <laughs> He's pretty menacing looking. Mm. Mm. That's what's going to be looking at us all night while we sleep. <laughs> there's many others. And there's many others. Nice. Now we got Duke the Big Sword, I guess. Hmm. Does that mean we're going to get murdered? Ooh. Be exciting. <laughs> well, that one's pretty creepy. Everything decided to get active when it turned 11 o'clock. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to make of that. Now what are we getting? It's a picture of a picture. Mm -hmm. so Vision! Now that would be creepy if this picture was 
in this room. <laughs> <laughs> that would be freaky. It's not. It's not in this room. Say hello to Freddy. Welcome to Prime Time, bitch. Creature. We know, no. To the George Washington. Cotton Joe. I went to the George Washington. What about you? eyes on us. Chicken nugget. Binary school. Available. You're available to talk now? That was that ghost. Mine's quiet now. Yeah, I'm back. Upside down. Because I'm. I'm because. Is a speech impediment. Here, go, go. Choking. Well, he sounded like he was choking. The ghosts on mine. The best. Liberally. Recording videos and I use this, it won't shut up. Look below. <laughs> but everywhere else, it doesn't say very much. Which is why I think our house is actually haunted. <laughs> and our house is. But we like our ghosts. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, turn it. Oh, 
Dr. Bird. What does that mean? I'm in this app. I'm doing it. You can't stop me. What we call us. Issues as we have a lot. What are you doing? That in the end. We're gonna chill now. Brush my teeth. Put up my hair. <laughs> Maybe watch TV. And if What do you think of that ghost? What do you think of Blood that died, man. You have to. If only. I guess they don't care. <laughs> they don't have much to say. X. Responsibility. You can do something and wake us up tonight. That is okay. Just sign up. Children and adult. No, I'm not. I am not an adult. Good night, ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> Give me the opportunity. No, it's too late. You hear a lot of noises in here. Military. Military. A lot of noises. But all of them are explainable. See. These walls are paper thin. I'm not looking forward to sleeping tonight. <laughs> Hopefully my sound machine counsels it all out. So I guess we're gonna relax now. I'll have time lapse and motion detection going through night vision during the night. Hopefully we'll get something. Maybe something spooky will wake me up. Spooky. I'll keep this camera nearby. Got another camera ready over there. I'm angry. Night vision camera over here. You're making the spirit angry. Angered spirits over here. <laughs> Maybe that's what we need to do, start being jerks, so they'll oh be more God. responsive. Because they've been silent or non-existent, one, of the, one or the other. Mm. We'll see how the night goes.
besides this odd sound, nothing else of interest really happened except some dust particles or possibly orbs, however you want to interpret them. The sound may have been my husband breathing, I'm not sure, he tends to snore. But other than those things, not much else happened during the night. Hello guys, it's the next morning. <sighs> Sad to say, nothing cool happened. There's about 18 clips on our motion detection camera, but it looks like it's just us moving our feet at night, so we don't know yet. I haven't checked yet. Maybe we caught something. I don't know. I got some time-lapse footage of that drawer opening by itself. That's pretty cool definitely put that in but my final judgment is the George Washington Hotel in Winchester Virginia haunted no at least not based on one night maybe these ghosts aren't very active I don't know but we caught nothing that we could say was a ghost for sure so I'm saying it's not haunted but it is a nice place to stay so if you are in this area for some reason definitely consider the George Washington George Washington Hotel in Winchester Virginia granted it's not conveniently located off of an exit but it's worth it I hope you enjoyed this video please like subscribe more videos are coming soon we're gonna have a paranormal fiasco uh, we'll be going to the conjuring house the omni parker in boston and also the hawthorne hotel in salem so lots of cool spooky videos coming up soon see you later bye thank you for joining me on this spooky adventure if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment below and let me know what you think and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more paranormal adventures. Until next time, stay spooky, cats.